Warning, this video contains some actions that may not be safe. Please be cautious and we claim no responsibility for any injuries obtained from building this device. So in this video we're going to show you how to build this awesome potato cannon. Let's do that. For this first step, we are going to want to take apart our lighter here. So there's probably going to be one or two screws on the back. So you're just going to want to take out this first screw. And then you're going to want to take this red part and it should slide off. And I'm just going to pop open your lighter here. The trigger was in there. You can just check that aside. You're not going to need that. Use your butane can, your piezoelectric igniter. Those are the two main parts that you're going to want. Take out this butane can here. And then take out that. This slides out. And then in here, you're going to want to take that off. This opens up. And then you can get out your wires. And now we have everything we want from this. So that's what we're going to be using for our potato gun. Of course, next step, all you're going to need is your electrical tape, your piezoelectric clicker, and your little strip of wire here. I've already pulled the plastic coating off. You're just going to take this and you're you want to take the shorter wire of it and wrap it around. Okay, so you can see that I just wrapped it around there like that. So now I'm gonna take this electrical tape, wrap some electrical tape around this. There, just like that. And now both of your wires are relatively the same length. That's the end of the step. For this next step, you're gonna be gluing together your combustion chamber. You're gonna to wanna to take your PVC glue, do this in a well ventilated area. You're gonna to wanna to and put a cap. And it does help to put some pressure on it. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. So there you go. That's your combustion chamber. Nice. For this next step, you're going to be assembling pretty much part of your handle and your barrel. So you're going to want to just take this, your one half to one fourth reducer, and screw it into this one half piece of PVC. Make sure it's in there nice and tight. There you go, because you do not want that coming undone. And then this part, glue it just in case. This is just gonna screw on here, like this. You don't have to glue all the screw parts. This just pops on the bottom here, and then you have your handle assembled. For this next step, you're gonna be drilling the holes to install your piezoelectric clicker and butane injector. The butane can was installed like this in the lighter. What you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna take this and just spin it around one rotation where it gets easier to turn. That'll just make it easier so you can inject butane faster. That part's done. What you're gonna wanna do now is you're gonna wanna drill two holes close to each other. You could do one like here and here, probably pretty close. You're gonna wanna also drill one hole over here, a little bit further away. You're gonna make sure this fits inside of it. Oh, which it does not. Okay, now you can see that your butane injector fits perfectly. This is just going to be glued onto the back like that. And then make sure this isn't like this, so then you can still refill it with a butane tank. Now you're gonna wanna drill just two holes next to each other, a little bit further up for your piezoelectric clicker. Now you can see we're done with that. So there's two holes close to each other, one further away. So now we're done with this step. We are going to be installing the handle and also installing the butane can, the piezoelectric clicker. So you have your two holes like this. You want those on the side and you're going to be installing your handle. So just find like a comfortable position, usually like up front, even installing it here. I'm gonna actually install it here. So I'm gonna hot glue it on. Okay, so as you can see, I finished gluing it on, and there's your handle. So now we're gonna be gluing on our butane can. We're just gonna wanna put a bunch of hot glue on the back here, then take this, and make sure this thing is on the outside so you can still refill it. Now we're gonna wanna take this, stick it in this hole in the back. Okay, so you just want to glue it, and then there you have it. You have installed your butane canister. Now we're going to want to install the two wires here. For this, you're going to want to unscrew this to make sure they're not too far apart nor too close. You're just going to take one of them, stick it in there, like so, and then take the other. Also, stick it in there. 
and then bend both of the wires in the same direction I'm doing downwards right now and put a bunch of hot glue over it. So yeah, just like that. So this is what your cannon should look like at this point. I'm just adjusting the wires in there. How electricity has to arc between there. You should probably try clicking this and if you don't see a spark that's not working. Now I'm gonna be installing the clicker. I actually use my thumb because I find if you actually install like a trigger, it gets really tiring after continual firing. So I actually install my triggers like this. You can click them with your thumb. To make the trigger more comfortable, you can put some hot glue on top of it. So you can make it more comfortable using like foam. I just use hot glue. Once it's cooled it enough, press my finger on it. There you go. Okay, now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna install it like this. Make sure this is not getting any glue on it, nor th is this, because otherwise that'll prevent you from clicking it. So you're just gonna install it like that. I'm just gonna add, add a little dab of hot glue here just to hold it generally in place. And then you wanna measure it so you install it the right spot. So I'm gonna install it right here. Hot glue's gonna hold that a little bit in place. Now we're just gonna wanna attach it with your other materials, such as zip tie, string, or duct tape. So I'm just zip tying on the trigger here. Yeah, you want to you wanna make sure it's on here nice and tight because your trigger falls off, you can't fire your gun. Okay, there you go. I attach the trigger, now I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. Ideally, you want to let the glue dry for like two or just, or three hours. Mm -hmm. Best case scenario, let it dry for 24 hours. The first part of firing your gun is you need to put some oxygen in there, otherwise it just won't ignite. So we basically, so we're just airing it out, and once we're done, what do we do? So now that we have this aired out, Okay, then we have our foam dart, and we're just gonna load that in the tip. Make sure it falls down pretty far, but not in the chamber. We can just go one, two, three, four. There you so, go. So yeah, that shot like literally all the way over here. We actually ran the calculations of this and it shoots at exactly 60, almost at exactly 60 miles an hour. That's not including wind resistance or anything though. Make sure to be safe and hope you guys enjoy. If you're gonna mount your mini potato gun on there like that, you are going to need your two 3D printed parts, which come in a single design, which can be downloaded from the Thingiverse link below. You're going to need hot glue gun, doesn't matter what size glue sticks. You're going to need your potato gun here, your mini potato gun. You're also going to need your giant potato gun. So this just slides in and out, just like that. So, just like this, and this is how you lock your gun in there when you mount it on the big potato gun. And then if you print other accessories for your you gun, can, you can mount it. You're gonna to wanna to be gluing this on, like this. You want to make sure you install this on the big cannon so like the part where there's no slot faces towards the end of the barrel because you want you're going to be able to slide out backwards and not forwards because then it'll fall out too easily because you'll be kind of gripping this like a handle you're going to, want to try and install as straight as you can you can just kind of adjust it to depending on your liking of how far forward you know what let's have it right after this They're not loaded with anything, this is just a dry fire. I don't know, I'm scared, small. so I'm gonna do the small one first. There you go, small one has gone off, and now the big one. You still have the big, go like that. There you go, and there's a big one. See? So yeah, so it looks pretty awesome. <laughs> hey, this is Andy here from Banana Science, and this is Ollie. Make sure to like this video and comment. So if you guys have any ideas for stuff that we could build in the future, we'd love to have your ideas in the comments below. We might even choose your idea, so yeah. yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Really, this channel would not be possible without viewers like you.